Welcome to Community Presbyterian Church and our Gospel Box Story Time for July 12th, 2020. Our story this week is called The Sower. The Sower. Jesus was a great storyteller. People came from miles around to hear his stories about God and his kingdom. His stories were about ordinary things, but they made people think and ask questions. One day, as the crowd listened, Jesus pointed to a farmer in a nearby field. People turned to look. The man was sowing seeds as he walked up and down the field. One evening, a farmer said, The field is ready. It's time to plant my crops. Early next morning, he filled a big bag with grain seeds, slung it over his shoulder, and set off to his field. Slowly and steadily, the farmer trudged up and down the plowed field. Handful by handful, he threw seeds into the air. Where did the scattered seeds fall? Some seeds landed nearby. Others were carried away by the breeze. The little seeds fell here and there. The farmer didn't notice where. He would find out when the seeds grew roots. Some seeds fell on the footpath where people trod on them, and then greedy birds swooped down and gobbled them up. Some seeds fell on sto stony ground. The seeds began to grow, but they needed water, and soon their tiny shoots drooped and died in the hot sun. Some seeds fell among the thorns. The seeds put down roots and grew strong roots. But the thorns were stronger and choked the little plants. But some seeds fell on good soil. They made deep roots and grew big green shoots. The farmer was pleased to see these strong new plants. Maybe the harvest will be good, he said. At last harvest time came. It's time to cut the crop, said the farmer. He and his helpers worked all day to harvest the golden ears of wheat. And every plant made lots of new seeds, a hundred times more than the seed the farmer had sown. But what does the story mean, asked one of Jesus' friends. The seeds are what God tells us about his kingdom, said Jesus. Some people don't really listen, so God's message is snatched away like the seeds the birds got up. Some people are glad to hear what God tells them, but as soon as trouble comes, they are just like the plants that drooped and died. Some people hear and gladly accept God's teaching. Then their life gets too busy and their understanding does not grow. That's like the seeds that fell among the thorns. But some people really listen and understand what God wants. They are like the seeds that fell on good soil and the plants that made a more new seeds. They do, they do as God asks and their lives show amazing results. That story reminds us of how important God's word is for all of us. We all get the chance to hear God's word and it's up to us to decide how we're going to respond to God's word. 
just like those seeds that landed in the tough land and the hard ground that weren't able to take root and were blown away. Some of us can do that too. And some of us hear God's word, but it's only when it's on our time, when it's a good time for us. And we can droop and die and lose our way away from God's word. But some of us have the chance to take those seeds, let them plant in us and germinate and grow, and we can be servants to God, servants to Jesus, to share God's word and show them through not just our words, but through our actions. So let us do our best to be the good soil that will let God's word grow within us, that we can then feed others with that same word. Let's have a word of prayer, and then together we're going to say the Lord's Prayer. Gracious God, we are thankful for having the ability to hear your word. Let us listen to those words and take their meaning and use them to become your servants, to become your disciples and serve Jesus and you in this world that we live in. Help us to let God's word grow and become strong, and may we be fruitful with that growth and use it for your means to build your kingdom here in this world. We pray in Jesus' name. And now together, we pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. It was good to have you join us, and we see you again soon.